Hello there everybody, welcome back and happy new year to everybody wherever you are in the world and I do hope you've had a safe, healthy and happy break over the Christmas holidays. So we're back today with Tuesday teaching tips and today I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes thinking about um, why it's important to give our students the big picture of their learning journey. Now I've been doing a bit of research over the holidays um, into motivation and what what motivates our pupils to want to learn the piano in the first place or an instrument indeed and um, there are three things that come out of the research that children think it's going to be fun to learn an instrument um, they like the sound of the instrument they choose so we're not just talking specifically piano here children naturally gravitate towards the sound that they like and uh, that, that's also that's something that I've certainly found in my experience so um, they think it'll be fun they like the sound of the instrument and often they're inspired by somebody else that they know um, a, a member of the family for example or a friend or somebody that they know who can already play the piano and they think oh I'd like to do that so those are three reasons why children tend to start learning the piano but like any other activity children do tend to want to learn to choose to learn um, because they have certain expectations and remember the piano or any other instrument is just one of the many activities that children have to choose from um, these days Children choose to do things they think they're going to be good at. Yeah, they will naturally move towards things they think, ah, oh, I can do this. I, I'm going to be fine at this. Um, whether that's true or not is another matter, but that's what they go in thinking. They also go in thinking that they will find it's an enjoyable process, that they're going to have fun doing it. Yeah. And the third thing, which I think is really, really interesting for us, is they go into it thinking of it as being a short term or a medium term activity. They don't see it as something they're going to do for the rest of their lives. They don't see it as something that's going to um, add to them in all sorts of the different ways that we all know that playing the piano, playing an instrument can do. And I think that can really change quite uh, deeply the way that um, we could think about this because we have, of course, the big picture. We know that actually learning the piano is a very, very, very long haul and it never ends. Children just don't think about that, do they? They don't have time in that sense. You know, so I, when I was a child, I could maybe, maybe think of a few months at a time, maybe remember what Christmas was like from year to year. And it's only as an adult that you begin to, as you um, gather your years together, that you can then look back and you can see decades. Yeah, and children can't do that. So they think they're learning this instrument just for a short amount of time. Um, so I, the message today, really, the top tip, is to help the children to see the big picture, that it's not just a short-term activity, but actually there's a medium-term and there is a long-term picture as well. A couple of ways you can do that. Well, I think one really effective way is to get other pupils who are further down the learning path to play to pupils so you're always mixing up they're always hearing people who have been learning for a couple of years and that have got a you know a really cool piece that you think oh they'd like to learn that I mean at my Christmas piano party in December they all played to each other and the best fun was had actually when all the adults were in the kitchen having tea and things and the children were just playing to each other literally at the piano and there was a little queue coming down here as all the children came and had a go and then and of course, they're all mixed up, all sorts of different ages, all sorts of different standards. So get a better pupil to play to a pupil who's not been learning that long. And I think the other thing is on a short term, tell your pupils what they're going to be learning about. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of planning at the beginning of the, the new term and, and thinking about learning intention and aspirations for my pupils. And a pupil I've had this morning, um, I said to him, OK, so what we're going to be doing, one of the concepts we're going to cover this term is semiquavers. Oh, what are semiquavers? Are those those? I said, well, you're going to have to wait, I'm afraid, on that one because we've run out of time today. But that's one of the things we're going to cover. And you could see him immediately go, oh, I, yes, I want to learn about semiquavers. So instead of keeping it a secret, what what's going to happen? Think forward planning, 
think about what the pupils are going to learn and share that big picture with them a little bit more because that will help them to engage and realise that it's not just a short term activity, but this is something that they can do for the longer term. It's lovely to be back with you all again and um, thank you for listening and I shall see you all next week. Happy teaching. Bye for now.